This is going to be a really quick video to show you how to move the taskbar, well, move the start menu that's located on the taskbar from the center of the taskbar on Windows 11 back over to the left in the same location where it is on Windows 10. As we're deploying Windows 11 all the time now on new machines, I've had a few people say they don't like it in the center of the screen and they'd like to move it. Well, it's really easy to do. And this video just allows me to refer them to the video so I don't have to keep jumping on people's machines to show them where it is. So if you want to move your taskbar or your start menu, hopefully this video will help you too. Let's customize the taskbar. So, um, as you can see, I'm on Windows 11 here. And my taskbar has the start menu in the middle of the screen. So since we started deploying a lot of Windows 11 machines, a few people have like commented on this and saying that they don't like it and they'd like it back in this left corner down here. So that's not a problem and it's really easy to do. So what we need to do is if we left click on the start menu, when the start menu appears, we need to click on the search box at the top and then just type in settings. And you can see on the best match, we've got the settings app, which is exactly what we want. So if we click on that, it brings up the system settings. Uh, another way which might be a little bit quicker is if we right click on the start menu and we click settings that way, then we can get into settings as well. Um, now the bit that we're interested in is personalization. So if we go ahead and click personalization, scroll down towards the bottom, you can see this taskbar here. So that's the options that we want, taskbar. So when you go into this, um, it's personalization taskbar. Um, just to get straight to the point of the video, if we go to taskbar behaviors at the bottom of the list, you can see uh, the first option that's unhidden is taskbar alignment and it's set to center. So if I change this to the left, you can see my start menu is shot across to the left. I can put it back in the center. So it's up to you. If you want it on the, in the center, you can have it in the center. If you want it on the left, just choose left, center, whichever way you want it. While we're here, we might as well have a look at um, a couple more options that are here. So we've got automatically hide the taskbar. Now as I click that, you can see my taskbar appears. If I click automatically hide, it disappears. Um, so if there's no taskbar there, how do you click on the icons? Well, just scroll to the bottom of the screen, the taskbar will appear. So just move your mouse to the bottom of the screen there, and the taskbar will appear. So there's one option you've got. You can hide the badges, and you can stop the items flashing on your taskbar by using these options, which is a bit annoying. Show my taskbar on all displays. Um, if you untick that, it'll only show you taskbar on the main display. I'll show you that in a second. Um, another option we've got is when using multiple displays, show my taskbar apps on. So you've got the main taskbar and the taskbar where the window is open. I've just got taskbar where the window is open. Or all taskbars. So I'll show you that in a second when I move my taskbar over to the, when I make this my secondary display. Um, but that might be something you're interested in. Share any window from my taskbar. This is a Microsoft Teams thing. So if that's ticked and using Microsoft Teams, you can basically right click on one of the windows on your taskbar and just share it into Teams. Uh, that doesn't apply to the version of Teams which is built into Windows 11. It's the downloadable version that's um, part of Microsoft 365. This select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop is also handy to have on. So if we move down to the bottom of our taskbar on the right hand side, if we click here, all the icons, windows, everything just disappear off the desktop. And if we click it again, they come back. So that's this option down here, just right in the corner there. Um, show seconds, that goes without speaking. Add the seconds onto your clock. Other than it looking pretty, I wouldn't bother. It just adds extra resources to your computer. Um, this combine, combine buttons and hide labels. Um, where we've got our icons at the bottom, if I do when taskbar is full, it will actually show the name of the application until the taskbar until like the taskbar gets full of icons and then it'll 
hide them all if it's useful for you to know the name of the application that you've got open. Uh, combine taskbar and hide labels. So when taskbar is full, um, and this is like on other windows. So same type of thing. Uh, while we're in here, let's take a look at some other taskbar options that we've got. So if we go into personalization, sorry, I've just come off that and I was already in it. And go back into this taskbar. We can hide the search box, which is this here. We can hide it. Uh, we can have it as a search icon only, so when you click it, it appears. Um, search icon on label. Oh, the full search box. So that changing as we change them over. Just shows a smaller version of it. Search icon only. Um, task view. If you turn that on, it will basically show a preview of all the windows that we've got open. Widgets turns this thing on in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, which is kind of annoying. Maybe you like them. I'm not a fan of them. Chat. Now, Windows 11 has like a, a cut down version of Teams for home users built in. So if we turn that on, you can see we got a chat icon for Teams down here. Our chat. So, yeah. Generally, I have that turned off. Um, these are just for if you've not got a keyboard attached, then you can have it show a keyboard on the screen. And um, this one might interest you. Other system tray icons. If you look at my taskbar down at the bottom, it's got all these icons. Um, and if you don't need them all and you don't need to view them, what you can do is head over to other system tray icons. Um, and then we can start turning them off. So if I, uh, let me find one that's on there. Uh, Slack, for example, this icon here. If I click that, then Slack will disappear. Um, you can see we've got the OBS Studio icon down here. And if I click OBS Studio, that icon's gone. So that's handy for hiding whatever apps are tying up your taskbar. This notification area here can get quite busy. Um, you can also also hide which ones you want. If so, if they're not displayed on there, they'll be up here. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for taskbar customization. Now, one thing I did say I'd do was just show what happens when this is my secondary display and not my primary display. So let me just change that real quick by going into a right click on the desktop and go to display settings. And when my display settings appear, I can choose any menu, I, any uh, monitor I want to be main display. So I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to make my main display. Okay, so now this is my um, secondary display and not my main display. We can show you what the other options were. So if I right click this again, and then we choose settings to get into system settings. Again, head over to personalization. And then we're going to choose taskbar near the bottom. And we want back taskbar behaviors. So if we scroll down now, um, you can see this uh, when using multiple displays, show my taskbar apps on. Um, again, so set to all taskbars. If I change this to uh, taskbar window is open, now you'll see all the icons have disappeared, so it keeps it nice and clean. Um, we've got no icons on the taskbar down here, other than the ones that are open on the screen, which is the settings app. And if I move this, off the screen and you'll see that it's disappeared from the taskbar at the bottom as well um, where's that gone so yeah just taskbar where window is open is a really useful feature to have so if I move OBS over here you can see OBS comes back on my taskbar uh, so I'll show my taskbar on all displays 
If I untick that, you can see my taskbar is gone and it's only visible on my main display. So that's where you can find all your settings related to your taskbar. And you've got plenty of other personalization options that you can do to customize your start menu, um, lock screen, colors, background. That basically gets started with personalization on the windows. If you found this video helpful, please um, hit that like button because it'll um, help the channel. If you, uh, why not consider subscribing to the channel? You might find some videos that you like in future, especially if you're into tech. If not, we've got um, plenty of just Windows Gemma advice and tips on the channel as well. Hit the notifications icon. You'll get notified when I um, release any videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.